Hi, this is Paul. As I often do when I'm bored, I clicked on a YouTube suggested video, which in this case happened to be on ham radio. And of course, it led me to been watching a bunch of ham radio videos. This, of course, led me to decide to get my license. Well, there are three levels of license, technician, general, and extra class. And as you move up, the main difference is you get additional band privileges. The way they have the licensing structured, you have to pass the technician test first before you can take the general test, and then pass the general test before you take the extra test. So you have to pass all three to get maximum privileges. The technician test has 35 questions, which are selected from a pool of 426 questions, which they actually publish. So if you wanted to, you could just memorize questions and answers. The general test has 35 questions, which are selected from a pool of 462 questions, and the extra test has 50 questions from a pool of 712. So you could just memorize all the questions and answers if you are that good. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on getting my license. Well because I'm cheap and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. So I decided to watch free classes on YouTube. The classes I watched were on a channel called W4EEY. Then I used a free question app on my phone to study. The original plan was to just get the technician's license. But after studying for about a week, I was ready to take the test. However, the next test day, in my area wasn't available for another week. So I decided if I could take the technician and then immediately in the same session, take the general test. After another five days of studying, I was ready to take the general. So I started looking at the extra material and I realized taking all three back to back on the same day would be a bridge too far. So on test day, I first took the technician test and got 100%, and then followed up with the general test, in which I missed one question. This got me motivated to study for the extra test. I had two weeks to learn the material before the next available test day, which I did, and I got 100% on that test. So within a month, I went from no license to having an extra class license. While it may sound easy, it wasn't. I studied three plus hours a day for a month to do it. The technician and general tests require a lot of regulation memorization. The technician test was almost all regulations. The general test is about 30% general radio technology and about 10% technical and about 60% regulation. For the extra test, they really switch gears and it really stresses technical knowledge. However, none of the tests really require much math or any circuit design. It's primarily just technical concepts. So if you're not good at math, you can miss all the questions that have any math in them and still easily pass. So it's totally doable for anyone willing to put in the time and effort. Now I have to admit, for the extra, I did get the study book because I just didn't want to memorize the questions and answers. I wanted to understand the material and the videos just didn't give me enough knowledge. So what was the total cost? Well, I took two licenses for $15 a piece, so that was $30, and the study book was about $30. So I have about $60 totally invested in this effort. Now I have to figure out what to do with these licenses and get a radio, which isn't going to be cheap. Thanks for watching, and like they say in the ham radio community, 73W5PGR.